next part, Falmouth. Come back over here. here again, we have time to side here. Again. And when you swing into contact, as you get to contact, this prohibition against rotating the wrist goes away. So you, you swing in without rotating the wrist into contact, but as soon as you get the racket way out in front, like this, you rotate the wrist. And what that does is that gives you what's called the windshield wipe. Let me do that again. And do it a little better here. Like that. That's the windshield wipe. So you notice that I'm tipping the racket head up like this. That keeps the racket relatively, the racket face facing relatively the same direction in, in the contact zone as opposed to what most people do, which is like this. You can see here in the contact zone, you get a quite a bit of variation in the angle of the rack. You get a spray of results, depending on how good you are at making contact at the right time. So let's look at it from the other side. So here, about in this direction, the rack it up and around like this, tip back over the head. Notice this is very circular. There, the rack face is mostly tipped down. Swing down, out away contact, tip it up and over, there, and let me do that again so I do it a little better on the on the tip up and over, so you basically round, tip it up and over. Now notice that at contact, the racket's about this high off the ground if you got that bounce height, but the follow through and is much higher off the ground. It's like head height. Why is that? That's because you're swinging down and then swinging up. So the hand is swinging up, swinging up. It continues to swing up as the racket tips up, and that's why it ends up higher. One other thing you might have noticed is that when I make contact here with the vertical racket face and I swing forward, the racket tips forward. Why is that? The reason for that is, is that at contact, racket is tipped back 45 degrees from being in line with your arms. So tip back at 45 degrees if you just rotate the wrist. Yeah, the racket tips forward 45 degrees here. If you finish rotating the wrist another 90 degrees, now notice the racket's back to vertical. So essentially you're doing this, tipping it up and over, that. And that's the meat of the stroke. So here, There. Now sometimes you see the racket go further than that. A lot of times if, if the, the, the person is swinging the racket really hard. Because at the end of the swing here, at the end of the windshield wiper, notice the racket is going away from the camera, so the racket's going that direction. Now it gets to here, um, I've run out of arm. I can't, my arm won't go any farther. So what happens is the racket then swings around behind me. Now that's sort of just putting the brakes on at the end of the swing. This is really the end of the, of the, of the functionality of the swing. Uh, and after this, all you're doing here is slowing the racket down. A lot of people don't understand that, and what they do is they cut, cut to the chase. They say, I don't want to go over to here. That's useless. I want to go straight to here. So they basically do this. They swing out and swing up over the shoulder like that. The problem with that is, if they have a slow ball, what happens is, slow ball, the racket comes around like here, and then they do the windshield wiper over here, right? But look what direction the racket's facing. It's not facing that way, it's facing over there. So you don't want to do that and cut to the chase over here. You don't want to, you don't want to shortcut this path. This path here is designed, this finishing over here is designed to prove that you did this properly, that you're doing this properly. If you're doing this properly and the racket's lined up facing the right direction, and you tip it up and over and it's still facing the right direction, you know here it was facing the right direction. If you swing it up and over and you end up like this, you have no idea what the, the racket was doing over here. It could have been here and then you, you managed to swing it around. Or you could have hit it out here and it was already ticked the wrong direction. So this is a, this is a bad idea. Going so straight here is a very bad idea. You want to basically get up and over and finish out in front like that. And then if you swing hard, the whole stroke basically.